This is Pathology, Chapter 4, Part 2. Angular chylitis shows erythema or fissuring at the labial commissures. It is most commonly from candida but may be caused by other factors such as nutritional deficiencies. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis is a severe form that usually occurs in patients who are relatively or severely immunocompromised. The patient has chronic oral and genital mucosal candidiasis as well as skin lesions. Median rhomboid glossitis is an erythematous, often rhomboid-shaped, flat to raised area on the midline of the posterior dorsal tongue. Candida has been identified in some lesions, and some lesions disappear with antifungal treatment. Diagnosis and treatment of median rhomboid glossitis involve taking a mucosal smear that is sent to the laboratory for staining and examination. In some patients, candidiasis is persistent and recurrent and it may be a sign of a severe underlying medical problem. Deep fungal infections. Oral lesions may be caused by deep fungal infections such as histoplasmosis, coccidiomycosis, blastomycosis, and cryptococcus. They all primarily involve the lungs. There is a regional distribution of the, these lesions. Diagnosis is made by biopsy and microscopic examination. Oral lesions are preceded by involvement of the lungs. Oral lesions are chronic, non-healing ulcers that can resemble squamous cell carcinoma. Systemic antifungal medications such as amphotericin B, ketoconazole, or itraconazole are used for treatment. Latent infections may remain after treatment and reappear if the immune system becomes deficient. Mucormycosis, also known as phycomycosis, is a rare fungal infection. The organism is commonly found in soil and usually is non-pathogenic. Infection may occur with diabetic and debilitated patients. The disease can present as a proliferating or destructive mass in the maxilla. Viral infections include human papillomavirus, herpes simplex, varicella zoster, Epstein-Barr, and Coxsackie virus. Human papillomavirus, also known as HPV, have more than 100 types that have been identified. Among them are Veruca vulgaris, condyloma acuminatum, and focal epithelial hyperplasia. It is also implicated in some neoplasias or cancers. Veruca vulgaris is also known as the common wart. It is a papillary oral lesion caused by a papilloma virus. It is usually transmitted from the skin to the oral mucosa. Auto inoculation usually occurs through finger sucking or fingernail biting. The appearance is usually white, papillary exophytic lesion that closely resembles a papilloma. Veruca vulgaris is diagnosed via biopsy and histologic examination. Conservative surgical excision can be used and lesions may recur. 
Patients with finger lesions should refrain from finger sucking or fingernail biting to prevent re-inoculation. Condyloma acuminatum is a benign papillary lesion caused by a papillomavirus. It is generally transmitted by sexual contact and may be transmitted to the oral cavity through oral genital contact or self-inoculation. The papillary bulbous pink masses can occur anywhere in the oral mucosa and multiple lesions may be present. They are treated with conservative surgical excision and recurrence is common. Focal epithelia hyperplasia, also known as hex disease, is characterized by the presence of multiple whitish to pale pink nodules distributed throughout the oral mucosa. They are most common in children. The lesions are generally asymptomatic and do not require treatment and can resolve spontaneously within a few weeks. Herpes simplex infection. There are two major forms of herpes simplex viruses, type 1 and type 2. Oral infections are co caused mostly by type 1, and genital infections are most commonly caused by type 2. Herpes simplex is one of a group of viruses called human herpes viruses, or HHVs. Primary herpetic gingivostomatitis is the initial infection with herpes simplex virus. It is painful, erythematous, and swollen gingiva and multiple tiny vesicles on perioral skin, vermilion border of the lips, and oral mucosa may be seen. The vesicles progress to form ulcers. The patient may have systemic sy symptoms such as fever, malaise, and cervical lymphadenopathy. Most commonly, it occurs in children between six months and six years of age. The majority of infections are so thought to be subclinical. Recurrent herpes simplex infection. The virus tends to persist in a latent state, usually in nerve tissue of the trigeminal ganglion. It is estimated that one-third to one-half of the population in the United States experiences recurrent herpes simplex infection. Recurrent herpes simplex infection is also known as a cold sore or fever blister. The most common location for recurrent infection is on the lips and is known as herpes labialis. Recurrent infections caused by certain stimuli such as stress, sunlight, menstruation, fatigue, and fever. The recurrent herpes simplex infections occurs intraorally on keratinized mucosa that is attached to bone. The patient may have a prodrome with symptoms such as pain, bur burning, or tingling. The highest amount of the virus is in the vesicle stage. Recurrent herpes simplex can be transmitted by direct contact with an infected individual and can cause eye infection. The primary infection occurs at the site of inoculation. Herpetic Whitlow is a painful infection of the fingers caused by a primary or secondary infection of herpes simplex. The diagnosis for herpes simplex is based on the clinical appearance. Changes in epithelial cells can be seen microscopically. Treatment is with antiviral drugs when appropriate. These drugs have not been shown to be consistently effective in treating lesions, except in immunocompromised patients. Varicella zoster virus causes both chickenpox, 
varicella, and shingles, herpes zoster. Respiratory aerosols and contact with secretions from skin lesions transmit the virus. It is highly contagious. Shingles is secondary chickenpox in an adult. It is characterized by a unilateral, painful eruption of vesicles along the dis distribution of a sensory nerve. Any branch of the trigeminal nerve may be involved if lesions affect the face. Vesicles are often preceded by pain, burning, or paresthesia. The disease usually lasts for several weeks. Neuralgia may take months to resolve. Treatment of varicella zoster generally involves supportive care. Antiviral drugs may be used for immunocompromised patients and for patients with herpes zoster. The Epstein-Barr virus causes infectious mononucleosis, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, and hairy leukoplakia. Infectious mononucleosis is characterized by sore throat, fever, generalized lymphadenopathy, an enlarged spleen, malaise, fatigue, and petechiae may appear on the palate. In the United States, infectious mononucleosis occurs primarily among adolescents and young adults and is often transmitted by kissing, so it is known as the kissing disease. Hairy leukoplakia is an irregular, corrugated white lesion most commonly occurring on the lateral border of the tongue. It occurs most commonly in patients infected with HIV. Coxsackie virus infections are transmitted by fecal oral contamination, saliva, and respiratory droplets. Three distinctive oral lesions caused by Coxsackie virus are herpangina, hand, foot, and mouth disease, and acute lymphonodular pharyngitis. Herpangina is characterized by fever, malaise, sore throat, difficulty in swallowing, also known as dysphagia, vesicles on the soft palate, and erythematous pharyngitis. It usually resolves in less than a week without treatment. Hand, foot, and mouth disease usually occurs in epidemics in children less than five years old. Multiple macules or papules occur on the skin, typically on the feet, toes, hands, and fingers. Oral lesions are painful vesicles that can occur anywhere in the mouth. This usually resolves spontaneously within two weeks. Acute lymphonodular pharyngitis is characterized by fever, sore throat, and mild headache. Hyperplastic lymphoid tissue of the soft palate or tonsillar pillars appears as yellowish or dark pink nodules. It lasts several days to two weeks and does not usually require treatment. Other viral conditions that may have oral manifestations. Measles are caused by a type of virus called a paramyxovirus. It is a highly contagious disease causing systemic system symptoms and a skin rash. Coplic spots, which are small erythematous macules, may occur in the oral cavity. Mumps are a viral infection of the salivary glands, most commonly causing bilateral swelling of the parotid glands. This concludes Pathology Chapter 4, Part 2.